Good morning. I'm Reverend Ollie Preston from St. Peter's Halliwell in Bolton. I'm bringing you our second of our short daily thoughts, our reflections, as we continue trying to be church without walls, working out how we continue being God's people, a worshipping community, uh, learning and growing and sharing life together when we're not able to meet together. Uh, I know this morning I'm reeling from the latest government announcements last night, from the latest restrictions, uh, working out what that means for us as a family, uh, working out what that continues to mean for us as a church and looking around see what it means for us as a nation and as part of a world where we're, we're all wrestling with how we, um, how we tackle with and how we engage with and how we, uh, how we beat uh, and win out against this latest virus. And, uh, and that's some big stuff. And, and I'm bringing that as, as I come to read this morning. We're, we're going to look today, we we'll continue looking at Luke's Gospel. Uh, today looking at chapter 1 verses 38 to 80. So if you haven't had a chance to read that yet, um, Luke chapter 1 verses 38 to 80. Pause the video and then come back in a few seconds. Once you've had a chance to read it, well done. Reading through this morning and, and I guess in light of everything else, one of the things that strikes me coming out of this passage is there's a lot in here about promises. Mary particularly, um, but, but a lot of the characters here are being given promises and often promises that are coming from unlikely places or in unlikely situations. Promises that perhaps are not actually that comfortable or, or might be quite disturbing. Mary, it occurs to me, comes here as um, she is a young woman who, uh, who is given this, this unprecedented message about something that's going to happen that, that she's not been through before, that no one else has been through before. And it could be for her quite a scary and an isolating, a lonely time. It could be a time when um, when she struggles and wrestles with how to make sense of this. But Mary instead takes this promise from God and trusts God in it and receives what God, God has for her on that day as a blessing. And as Mary's given this promise from God, she holds on to it and she sings. This song from Mary, something called the Magnificat, has been part of Christian worship uh, for a long time. This beautiful thing where she starts, my soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my saviour. Uh, we've got the, the great hymn, Tell Out My Soul, is a paraphrase of this song of Mary, reminding us again of God's favour and God's goodness of uh, of the greatness of the Lord and uh, it strikes me that in times like this where everything feels very up in the air where everything feels very fragile that one of the things that we can do is remind ourselves in in scripture and in song of the goodness of God uh, and so I know when I'm finished recording this, I'm going to go onto YouTube and I'm going to find a YouTube version of Tell Out My Soul. I'm going to sing along and sing my heart out. Uh, and maybe you will as well. But if uh, if reading through this and you find any comfort in the words of Mary's prophecy, uh, Mary's song or later on in the passage, Zachariah's prophecy, you might want to also find the Church of England daily prayer uh, in morning prayer and evening prayer. These passages are used as part of the furniture of prayer, reminding us uh, set points each day of God's goodness and his promises. Uh, and so if you want to find some words to put around your prayer, if you're finding prayer difficult at this time, at this time, then uh, you might want to search Church of England Daily Prayer or I'll find the link and I'll put it in the comments. Um, but whatever you're doing today and however you um, hold on to God's promises, may God bless you and keep you uh, and yours. Amen.